ladies and gentlemen, long, long time ago. It is thousands of years ago. And no one wants exactly when it really was. Gigantic mother spaceships circled around the Earth. How do we know this? Well, we simply know it because it is handed down. The slides must go to the next one. It is handed down in the old holy books of India. There you really can read at some time gigantic cities circled around the earth. And from these cities, smaller vehicles have come down to the surface of the earth. These smaller vehicles are described in such a precise way that it was easy for us to take them literally. Phrase by phrase, we wanted to find out how they have looked like. So what you see here on screen is not just our imagination. We made it out from the old holy books, thousands of years old from ancient India. These smaller beings who have come down from the spaceships are called Vimanas. There were different types of Vimanas. One type had the shape of an egg. It was absolutely silent. People were shocked when the shadows entered into the valleys. Other types of these Vimanas, they must have been very, very noisy. Here people were afraid because of the trembling, the loud noise, the storm and so on. All these things are recorded down precisely in the holy texts of ancient India. And at one point you read that of a sudden three of these gigantic cities circled around the earth. Then something like a war in heaven took place. The cities were destroyed. And from the earth people were terrified because it looks as if thousands of fallen stars would come to the earth. Now I have to admit, in none of the ancient texts, be it India or be it the Bible or be it whatever, you read a word like spaceship. Nowhere you read the word like extraterrestrials. Why not? I mean if they have been here. Because they were in the same situation at that time as we are today. Whenever humans see something which is far beyond their technology, they cannot understand it, they cannot name it. Thousands of years ago, spaceships, mother spaceships circled around the Earth. At that time, our forefathers were seen from a technical point of view, primitives. They could not understand what was going on. So they believed that these beings must see, be some gods. Of course, we all know there is only one God, which we call the supreme being, the spirit of the universe, the creation. But our ancestors, they couldn't understand it. These beings who descended, they were powerful. They had weapons, lightnings. So our forefathers believed that they must be gods which is, of course, a misunderstanding in antiquity. And as I said today, we are in the same situation. For example, when a Stone Age man would for his first time see a helicopter, he cannot run to his tribe and say, hey, out there a helicopter is landing, because he doesn't know what it is. He's just shocked because of, uh, about the noise and so on. The first ethnologist who visited New Guinea with the propellant aircraft was Dr. Frank Hurley. In his diary he wrote, every evening the natives came with the canoe near to my aircraft and here they sacrificed a pork. While for me, they sacrificed only a chicken. They could not understand the difference between technology. In her eyes, the aircraft must have been a bird of the gods while the human was only a human like they were themselves the same thing occurred in the second world war and there are many examples of it for example the americans were fighting in the pacific ocean again against japan what happened after they left in the island of bevac of a sudden the natives started to construct something which looked like aircraft out of wood and straw. 
Now in this example, they could not name it. They could not say this is an aircraft, this is a propeller. They had no words for it. They simply copied. It's all misunderstood technology. In modern ethnology, this is called a cargo cult. Cargo cult is always copying some technology which imaginates them, but which in reality, they never understand what it was. Now this you can prove throughout history, from our present days, deep into the past of humanity. It all started about 5,000 years ago in old Sumeria. There you find the gods in their barges on the sky over the moon. In Central America, it doesn't matter if you take the Maya, the Olmecs, the Toltecs, the Aztecs, they all believed that their gods had some residences in the clouds. And from the clouds they would descend and teach mankind. But 25,000 kilometers away, in ancient China, the same situation. Who were the ruler of the Chinese empire at the beginning? The, the rulers from heaven. Still today, in the communistic and atheistic land of, of China, you find temples of the heavenly rulers. Which heavenly rulers?